on this Aguma OSP P200 Auto CNC, as you're gonna see, we still have a um, hard disk drive, uh, the old technology, the original one, and it has a uh, 40 gigabytes of a uh, capacity. And we are gonna convert this uh, or clone this uh, hard drive into an S SD or solid state drive of um, less capacity, le about eight gigabytes, uh, because the data is uh, contained on it is about uh, six and a half uh, gigabytes or five and a half gigabytes. So we don't need a. Uh, 40 gigabyte for the clone. On this video, as you see, we are removing the hard drive and before doing this, uh, it's recommended to create a, a full CNC data uh, backup and then uh, turn off the machine and uh, disconnect uh, or um, dismount the the disk and then disconnect the connector gently to not damage the pins and as you see this is a um, um, IDE format the uh, 44 pins and we are gonna replace this with a SSD or solid state drive thank you so now in this video we'll see how to clone the hard drive we have the adapter from IDE to SATA connected to the motherboard. This is the power supply and this is uh, the connection to the motherboard. So I'm gonna connect the hard drive. There you go. And run the PC or power up the PC. Here you'll see the hard drive if it's recognized. The reason why we are using uh, the adapter connected direct directly to the motherboard is because if you use an USB adapter, you can corrupt uh, the uh, boot, uh, boot sector and then make it the, the hard drive uh, unbootable. So this is the Ghost 20, uh, 32 software. So we are gonna go to local uh, disk to an image. And this is a computer disk, and this is the one that we just uh, connect. So I'm gonna do an image from this uh, hard disk, the one we have here. And then I'm gonna save it in my images and call it as the machine. Uh, I'm just gonna select the, the compression as now. I don't need to save uh, space on this computer. It's a lab computer that we have for these uh, purposes. So I'm gonna just check now and uh, proceed with the image creation. And it's gonna be pretty fast. As you see on the data here, the the drive is 40 gigabytes capacity. Okay, uh, now we have the image and let's close the GOS 32. So let's close here and we need to swap the, or insert the, uh, solid state memory, solid state disk. But to do that, I need to turn off uh, the computer first. So, next part, we are going to see how to create the clone. 
So this is the part where we gonna clone the image to into the uh, solid state drive. In this case, uh, we're gonna use the um, transcend uh, um, solid state disk, and this one is thirty two gigabytes uh, capacity. And we're gonna use this because uh, I checked the image uh, and it's gonna take up about seven gigabytes. So we cannot use um, this one because this one is only four gigabytes. This is because it, this is um, a Okuma OSP 200 uh, and maybe the system that I is bigger than the Mesac, I haven't checked that yet. But we also can use this uh, TDK, uh, about eight gigabytes. So let's try this out with the transcend. cycle the machine or the computer. You should see the hard drive, uh, solid state here, right here. There you go. So now the reverse process is <coughs> to run the GOS32. Hit OK and go to local disk and now we are going to use from image. Look for the image. And use the second uh, drive. And you see, the data size is uh, almost uh, six, uh, six and a half or seven gigabytes. So, what the ghost did is to create, it's gonna create two partitions, the primary and logical, the second one. And it's gonna uh, spread the size in between both of them. So, let's create it. This was the old size, uh, you see, for the partition, so it's gonna uh, adapt the size to the new image or new clone that we are gonna create. So now it's about to finish. <coughs> it took five minutes, almost six. There you go. <coughs> Let's quit and turn off and prepare the hard drive or the solid state drive. On this step, uh, we are gonna chain or uh, the hard drive, and we are gonna use the the bracket or support uh, for the new solid state drive. So we just need to be careful on how we put the, the pins. So in this case, it's gonna be in with the label facing down, okay. Now we are back into the machine and we have installed the 
solid state drive uh, transcend uh, 32 gigabytes, as you can see here. The one we used to clone the, the image. And Windows is starting. Now we have uh, the uh, process of loading the CNC data. Now it's starting the CNC. Okay, there you go. This one came perfectly and then you have the usual alarms that when you start up and then you can test uh, other functions like uh, the common variables or parameters. Then the, you can switch the, to auto, manual, etc. And that's it. It's working. Thank you.